Students, I'm going to make this really quick. So tomorrow when you come to class and we're going to start analyzing a document, I call it spying a document, you can be familiar with these two names that we're going to look at and kind of compare and contrast. So the first guy's name is Bartolome de la Casas. I really just refer to him as de la Casas. De la Casas, and I want to talk more about this encomienda system. De la Casas, remember how I said the encomienda system was kind of like a feudal system of sorts? He is one of the, the top dogs, right? Like he is coming over as an explorer. He's coming for a purpose. He's coming to find riches and wealth to then send back um, for himself and, and for investors as well. Well, De la Casas comes over to essentially the West Indies and he sees the treatment of um, the, the natives and he's just appalled. Like he can't even believe that it's this bad. And he writes back to the king and queen of, of Spain and he's kind of like, do you realize what's happening? Like this is, this is not good. I don't think you realize as Christians what's going on over here in the new world. And his, his pleas are kind of ignored. So he goes back to Spain and he kind of has this like conversion and he becomes a priest. He goes to Italy and he converts to, or he, he is Catholic, but he becomes a Catholic priest. He goes back to, um, he goes back to the West Indies in, in essence to try to like convince people that you can't treat natives like this. Like what you are doing is horrible to, to these people you have to stop and he's he's kind of like being an advocate for the natives now this is de la casas he writes a book called um it's something like on the treat i think it's called on the treatment of the natives do i have the name of it here i don't have the name of it but we'll look at the name of it tomorrow he writes this book and he kind it's kind of like a tell all. He he explains exactly what's going on. He doesn't mince words and he's pretty bold and forthright about it. In fact, now I don't want to make De La Casa sound like the perfect guy because he actually said, you know, the solution to get to the treatment of Native Americans to be better would actually be to use African slaves in their place because, you know, I feel like that would really help Native Americans out if you didn't have to rely on them for labor. So don't think that De La Casas was a perfect guy. Well, there's also this guy named Sepulveda, Juan de Sepulveda, and that's him right there in the picture. Um, Sepulveda was very much a part of the encomienda system, very much of a kind of the, um, the, the big dog over in the West Indies. And he is very much looking at uh, the natives as like a, a tool he can use, a, a pawn, a way to get him to make money. He's trying to justify it. In fact, he's trying to say, you know, we belong here because these natives don't even have God in their lives. Like we have to Christianize. Remember when we talked about the three G's, God, gold, and glory? He, he, would, he would have tried to use many different excuses to justify the treatment of of natives and he looked at natives as kind of like less than human and so I just wanted to get into these two guys because it's going to help us understand how we start analyzing documents and we're going to look at two excerpts that both of them wrote um, and the tone of language and, and kind of analyze what each is saying so that's all for today I wanted to talk about De La Casas and Sepulveda and until we meet again talk to you later bye